going. Hi, I'm Rufus from Transmission. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy Slim and Weld chicken stir fry. What you're going to need uh, for your ingredients for this stir fry, um, we've got two pots of Asda stir fry. These are a pepper stir fry mix which we got them reduced so that's a real good bargain for us and um, we've got a whole packet of mushrooms and um, they were whole ones we've chopped them all up into pieces there so that's ready to go in and uh, we've got a packet of french beans um, we did put them in the microwave for a couple of minutes just to soften them slightly so they don't take too long in the pan when we cook those we've got a cooked part of a cooked chicken this is a whole medium chicken which we've just pulled all to pieces so that's ready to go in um, you'll also need some we've got some garlic puree so you can just get normal garlic um, garlic cloves um, but obviously we make it a little bit easier you can buy these in the supermarket um, garlic puree so you can just use some of that and then store it back in the fridge so for the next time so we've got that a must have uh, which I'd say you can use for pretty much any sort of cooking this is a fry light usually we have the sunflower one um, but this one is olive oil so you can use any one of the fry light sprays they're one calorie spray so for us on Slimming World um, it's free so we can use that to uh, grease our pan rather than using oil for the stir fry as well I use um, some stock cubes so some people would rather season with salt and pepper um, I generally season with other OXO vegetable stock cubes or we've got the ASDA ones here so I'll crumble those onto it to season it basically before we finish cook you know finish cooking and serve it um, so there's those and also what most people use for stir fry is a uh, soy sauce so I've got a dark soy sauce here as well um, which that helps to season it as well to flavor it um, as well I've chopped up peeled and chopped up um, three sm sort of medium onions and then just basically after after I've peeled them all just slice them so that you don't have to dice it or anything like that it's all just going to go in with the stir fry with the other stuff um, so yeah that's all the stuff you're going to need for your stir fry what you're going to need to do to start with is to put your stove on um, and have a nice clean either stir fry pan or some large pan that you're going to be able to fit all of this stuff in because it, it turns out to be quite a lot of stuff in the pan so you have to have a decent sized pan um, so yeah get your stove on and like I say to start with we'll put in some of the fry light spray um, I'll put a few a few squirts of this in which should be more than enough um, to cook all of this stuff so we'll put a few sprays of that in into the pan okay and then basically what we're going to do is put all of our our onions in the pan break them all up and get those cooking stir fry is one of those things as well that you don't really want to just start cooking it and walk off and leave it because you might find that usually you have the heat rather high and then you'll find it will burn so um, you might you might want to ask um, you know what's a Slimming World meal so for, for me at the moment I've been on Slimming World uh, for about four weeks now um, in all of four weeks I've lost just over a stone in four weeks for me a lot of it is just not eating processed food cooking a lot of food at home I'm allowed 15 sins a day and sins are food that has treats and other stuff that has quite a bit of fat in it basically my sins are something I have to limit um, which gives me a healthy balance um, and not just me Lisa's on that as well at the minute so you know mm -hmm. we're, we're both doing it um, so the onions have been cooking anyway for a few minutes um, I'm now going to add a little bit of the garlic puree as well so that will help uh, make your stir fry really tasty so we'll put a bit of that in or you can just get some garlic cloves and just crush it yourself and chop it really small um, but for 
maybe for me and Lisa, that's, I tend to, for the amount I use, I just tend to, you know, use a tiny bit of it in our stir fry. After I get to that point where my garlic and everything's in, then I can actually add my stir fry mixes. So I can put those in it now, which is, here we've got two pots of this. So this is peppers, looks like it's cabbage, you get carrots in it. I think there may be the bean sprouts and bits in it. Um, a lot of cabbage. So all of that stuff is for me, and Lisa is free food. For me, I mean for everybody it's probably different, but for me I've been self-sabotaging for a long, long time. Whether that's due to even before I knew I was transgender or you know, like I say, even now, it's just a case of I've just I just seem to be going round and round in circles of I'd be okay for a little while, then I'll get up in the night and then I'll eat the wrong food and then I'll like you know kick myself for doing it, and then obviously that if you think me doing that repeatedly over and over again and then my weight slowly going up from eating the wrong food too much, whether that's kind of inside something that I just didn't like myself even back then now I realize exactly what I've been doing it's hot, kind of you get you get into a habit and then I find it hard to get out of it okay so this has been cooking anyway now for a, a couple of minutes or so so you see it cook, cooks down quite a bit whereas before it was sort of quite high up in the pan so it does cook a little down a, a fair bit and we did say we should have used a bigger pan probably because there's two of us and we're both hungry yeah. so <laughs> we will eat it all that whole lot um, so yeah, that's been cooking a little bit. While that's cooking, I will add the um, beans that we've got as well. Add those to it and get those on the go. So, but yeah, what I was what I was saying was basically for me, I've been about eighteen months now um, at the gender clinic, and I got to a point where I went for my first opinion for top surgery. For them to tell me my BMI was way too high um, and they can't even look to refer me to go on the list on the waiting list for surgery for top surgery until my BMI is down they'll put me back on that list when my BMI is 38 and then for surgery it has to be 35 but at the moment it's about 50 which is not very good, so that's why I'm on Slim and Well plan at the moment. So how did it feel when you got your first stone in sort of four weeks? How did that feel? feel really good. I was quite surprised at it, guys. I bet I have done Slim and Well before. Um, I moved area and stopped going. I thought I could do it on my own. And then I went back into the same routine of self-sabotage. And for me, I mean, I was honest, the day I walked into back into Slimming World, I turned around and said to them, I've only come in here so that you can weigh me once a week and it will stop me binging. And then I'm going to add the mushrooms to it as well. So again, there's a lot here, isn't there? There's a, a lot, lot of a food lot of there. Yeah, a lot of veg. And we also have our little friend as well, who is always waiting for anything that's like dropped. Because she's so starved. Ruby! Hello, you're on film. I know, look at you. She just loves food. Well, so do we, that's why we got to this point of <laughs> needing to do Slimming World. A good tip for anyone wanting to lose any weight, a good thing is always kind of pre-plan what you're going to eat. I mean, that's one thing we've learned is that we, the day before, we know roughly what we're going to be eating for our dinner the next day mm. and maybe for a dessert, if we want a dessert, a yoghurt and some fruit and other stuff. But this is just to flavour it, to season it, instead of usually me adding salt. I'd rather put oxos and stuff in it rather than salt. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I'm going to put the chicken in. So we've got a whole medium cooked chicken which we got down the market. Just took all the fat off of it. Um, picked it off from the bones and that's it, that's all the chicken from that. So I said there's nothing nothing bad in this at all and we can sit there and fill ourselves right up with this and go to bed full you know and not not feeling hungry or because if I go to bed and my stomach's empty I can't sleep so that's pretty much it 
so that's uh, the stir fry if anybody you know wants any more details of sort of like I say any any uh, good Slimming World recipes um, you know you can always get in touch and we'll be able to give you some more some more advice and more help yeah. so if you if you like this video give us a thumbs up um, and if you want any more info you know get in touch and I'm sure we're going to be doing some more videos like this anyway so uh, you'll be able to watch plenty more and give you lots more ideas of food you know good healthy food that you can cook yourself hungry eyes one look at you and I can't disguise I've got hungry eyes